Hi, I'm Sharon Smith, and in this video today, we're going to, you and I, do a little bit of work to release pain and stiffness from your hands and fingers. And it doesn't matter why your hands are stiff, it could be arthritis, could be any number of things. It could be recovering from hand surgery, anything. But this video is designed to give you better flexibility in your hands and fingers. It's just a short video. Now, before we get started, because this is one of my rules, you have to read and agree to my disclaimer first. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, it's just it's right there below. Just seriously, just read down. Uh, if you're not on YouTube, if you're seeing this elsewhere, then go to my website, apainplan.com. I think the link is right there below too. Just, just look. Anyway, apainplan.com, and you can read and agree to my disclaimer. Just pause me for a second. I promise I won't start without you. This is going to be fun. And welcome back. Okay, so before we begin, I want you, now this may be, you may be having pain or stiffness in one or both hands, but I want you to move your hands around, you know, really move from the wrist and flex all your fingers and just appreciate where you have pain, where you have stiffness, and just kind of mentally give this a number between one and ten. You don't need to write it down. Uh, but a number between 1 and 10, with 0 being no pain and no stiffness, and 10 being overwhelming pain and stiffness. I hate it when things hurt. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's, uh, we're just going to start out and we're going to do some general tapping, some EFT. Just follow along. If you're not familiar with the process, just do what I do and repeat after me and tap where I tap. And we aren't going to say anything very strange, but we're going to talk about hand flexibility to start with. Okay, so on the karate chop point, out the side, inside your hand. I'm just tapping, and we're going to say, Oh, my hands are so stiff, and they hurt, and my fingers hurt. It hurts to move, it hurts to pick things up. But I choose to be okay anyway. And I'm open to healing this now. Even though my hands are really stiff and painful, I completely love and accept myself. And one more time. Even though my hands are really stiff and painful, my fingers hurt. It just hurts to move them. I'm open to healing this now because I completely love and accept myself. And I love my hands. Okay, now we're going to go to the top of the head. Just here, crown. All this pain in my hands. All this pain in my fingers. I can't seem to let it go. I use my hands for so much. Holding on to things and letting go of things. And I can't do either one very well when my hands hurt. But I'm open to letting go of this now. Collarbone. All this pain in my hands. All this stiffness. It's really unpleasant. It's keeping me from doing the things I like. And I'm open to healing it now. Underneath arm. I just can't seem to let go of all this pain and stiffness. Hold your wrist points. Breathe. Peace. Okay. Now just move. See if you've had any difference, any change in that. Now because I am a pain specialist and I know that it's usually emotions that get stuck in our hands. Thoughts and feelings get stuck in different body parts. Different things tend to accumulate in different places in our body. And hands can be a number of different things, but in general, it's um, 
a certain degree of being worried about taking in new ideas and letting go of old ideas. So we're going to do a little bit around that. And fingers, when you have finger pain and finger inflexibility, that's uh, being excessively concerned with details. So we're going to do a little bit of that too. Just go back to the top of the head. I'm just not very flexible. All these new things and new ideas coming in. It's kind of too much for me. And I stuck it in my hands. I don't want to be flexible. Not about all this new stuff. It's too much. My hands don't want to be flexible either. And some of these new ideas were alarming or scary for me. And that made my fingers and hands stiff. My hands got a little scared because I was scared. Too much new stuff. But I'm open to letting it go now. It's perfectly safe for me to let it go. I let go of the need to worry about all this new information. It's safe for me to be flexible. It's safe for me to take in new ideas and release old ones. They're just ideas. I give myself permission to let go of the stiffness in my hands and fingers. And I allow myself to let go of the pain in my hands. New ideas can be safe. I don't need to be afraid. I let go of all the pain and stiffness in my hands. I'm perfectly safe and so are my hands. Peace. Okay, good. Now I want you to move again. Really move, really appreciate how your hands feel. See how your fingers feel. See what your range of motion is like. Good. You should be feeling a little difference there. Okay, now we're going to do just a little bit more and increase our range of motion a little bit. So, you can do this. I don't know if I can still do this. Oh my goodness, I've never done that on video before. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Even though my hands are still a little stiff, still a little painful, I'm open to healing this now. Even though I've still got some pain and stiffness in my hands and fingers, I don't have very good mobility. I completely love and accept myself. And I'm doing this silly tapping stuff. Who knows? Maybe it'll help. So even though I've got some pain and stiffness still in my hands, I choose to be okay anyway. And I am open to letting it go now. I give myself permission to release the last of the pain and stiffness from my hands perfectly safe to let it go now. The pain and stiffness came to keep me safe and to give me something else to focus on. And I'm grateful for the, for the help that my hands gave me. But I don't need them to help me in that way anymore. So it's safe to let go of all the pain and the stiffness in my hands. Now I give myself permission to increase mobility and flexibility in my hands. I allow myself to increase mobility and flexibility in my hands. I allow my fingers to be flexible and free. I allow my hands to move freely and easily. 
It feels good to move. I allow my hands to feel good. I give myself permission to fill every cell of my hands with strength and flexibility. It feels really good to do this. And I love myself. And I love my hands. <sighs> Peace. Okay, that was a good round. Now move and see how you feel. And leave me some comments, especially if you're on YouTube. Leave me some comments below. I want feedback from you. Let me know how this worked for you. And as always, you can come visit me on apainplan.com. So I'm Sharon Smith, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.